Hey guys, Michael Troy here, and today we're doing a Fury of Fire Firestorm two for one. I love the character of Firestorm. He's so cool. Um, I love the character's design. The concept is great. You know, he's like this college age student who sort of um, melds together with his professor to become Firestorm and. Uh, Robbie, is, I think that's his name, controls the body and the professor is like the mind and they sort of, I mean, God, like what a terrible scenario that would be having somebody in your mind. Although I guess like uh, allegedly he's there to help him with uh, scientific, scientific things that, and things like that. I was never an avid collector of Firestorm. These very well, these very well may be the only two copies or issues of Firestorm that I have. I'm sure I got this one because it has Killer Frost and Plastique, and I love me a good femme fatale, so um, this is interesting. The art um, on this is by the same artist, but you'll see what a difference an inker can make when we get to the second issue. Um, so Firestorm is battling Killer Frost. This is written by Gary Conway and um, penciled by Raphael uh, Kayanen who I love his art. He's got like one of those sort of like illustrative kind of really pretty styles like uh, Peacock, Peacock, I cannot talk today. I don't know what my problem is, I'm sorry. He Craig Russell, um, Pat Broderick, sort of Craig Hamilton. I kind of put them into the same category. Now this is ink by Paul Kupperberg, um, or I'm sorry, Alan Kupperberg. I know Paul Kupperberg, I'm assuming they're brothers. So Paul is more of a writer editor. Ben O'Dell, letterer, and Nancy Houlihan, colorist. Okay, so as you can see, there's like the effect in there of the professor in his mind. But fires Ronald. Did I call him Robbie? It's Ronald. For sure it's Ronald, because it's right there in black and white. Anyway, Killer Frost was always a fun character. Um, I feel like this might have Firehawk in it, but in her old costume. And... That would be fun if so, but if not, oh well. I love this, this is great. This is great like storytelling with the whole big ice uh, world falling on top of them and it's very claustrophobic. I mean, I, I love it when they do great like comic book storytelling that's sort of unique and not run of the mill. I mean, this is very like one big panel that takes up the whole page and then two, four, eight more panels. Now you're lucky to get like six panels on a page and which is fine, I guess, if the if the story flows and the art is fantastic. But this already has a lot of splash pages, I'm noticing, because this is basically a splash page. Splash page. So a lot of open art here. Um, not overly thrilled with the inking. I mean, I think it's suitable, but once again, once we get to the next issue, you'll see how different it is. Um, I love Firestorm. He's so unique. He's got such a unique, like, power signature um that's a lot of fun like it's always instantly recognizable as him now george perez and i i should have looked it up before but i feel like he might have had a hand in designing the costume but i'm not 100 percent um because i think firestorm's older than i think he is he's he always felt like such a newer character to me but i mean as it is this came out in you know, 1980 something, so 1985, a good year. I always have to throw that out there. It was a very good year in comics. Hawkman, Shadow War. I always liked the character design of Hawkman, but not, never really followed the book, so. But this is like nothing overly exciting, so. I love this pa this panel here, though. That's great. Like, this looks like the uh, a very, like, Todd McFarlane cityscape. <laughs> I'm sure that, uh, you know, there's lots of things you see that sort of repeat themselves in comic books or whatever. But this book is all over the place, and I kind of love it. You know, in the 80s, like, your suspension of disbelief was much um, looser, so you just kind of went with the flow and just in another splash page. Isn't that something? That seems kind of unprecedented at the time, but whatever. So I guess I dropped off. I didn't get any more, but I had to get this one because it features my beloved Donna Troy. I'm a huge Titans fan. I love the Titans. Uh, here's an interesting uh, thing to note. The cover is by uh, Raphael Kayanen. 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 
<laughs> and inked by Dick Giordano, who, if you've watched my channel um, and seen any other videos, you know that I'm not a fan of his inking on other people. I like his inking in his work, but it's actually kind of cool here. I kind of like this big, thick line. Um, not bad. Not bad, Giordano. But then we move in here, and I just really like, this might have even been what uh, propelled me to buy this book because uh, the inking is by um, Aiken and Garvey, and um, who were an inking team apparently in the 70s. And uh, see, that's Ian Aiken and Brian Garvey, and um, they inked the of Rick Leonardi on the Scarlet Witch, Vish, uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision miniseries, and uh, I really like the aesthetic of that. They're kind of distinct, but I mean, look at all this, uh, you know, I want to say sort of like a, a Terry Austin kind of effect in the fact that it's very crisp and concise, and I, I like that. That's kind of what always appealed to me in comic art as opposed to like a more sketchy, although at this point in my life, I kind of like all different kinds. I mean, that's a great double page spread right there. I like, and this is a Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, and you got Donna Troy, and Firehawk's costume, she had that purple and yellow one, remember, and this was the one that debuted in Crisis, both very cool costumes. So anyway, I'm just kind of loving the art, a lot of this stuff pops out, like I just love that. I would love to see this in black and white too, this big tentacle, or not tentacle, but snake or octopus so it's it is a tentacle there you go i shouldn't have second guessed it myself but this is fun art i love he draws really pretty women's faces i can't think of it like this is the only book that i really know him from and you know he had several entries in the who's who in uh, the dc universe so obviously he was an artist of the time but I really like it. I mean, it's just classic 80s, you know, straightforward storytelling with some fun pops here and there. It's funny how different uh, the comic books look now. They all kind of look the same to me. I don't know, there, there are differences, but um, I just love the old school comic books. A lot of fun going on here. So this art is really fun, and Firestorm's a cool character, although I just noticed he's not even in this issue. It's like uh, Firehawk and Donna Troy, which is totally fine with me, like I said, probably the reason I got it. Some fun art. So that was just a quick look to let you see Firestorm, my two sole issues of Firestorm. I'll have to see if I have any more, but I highly doubt it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, uh, subscribe, share my content, all that stuff. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.